If you are ever to visit the island of Sodor, then you are more than likely to see Gordon, the big engine. He is considered to be the fastest engine on the Northwestern Railway. It was a cold winter evening in December, as Gordon pulled into Knapford Station. The workmen were decorating the station for Christmas. They were all excited, but Gordon was not. Disgraceful, he said furiously. Henry and James looked at each other. They were not amused. What's wrong with you now? asked James. The engine from the mainland got stuck in the snow, and they had to wait for another engine to come and help. What's so bad about that? Henry asked. It was delayed, grunted Gordon. The express is the most important train on the railway. I don't expect you two to understand. They can't help it, Gordon, replied Henry. Snow can be dangerous. It was probably for the best to stop and wait for help. Besides, it's usually like this around Christmas. Hm. Oh, quit being such a grinch, Gordon. Gordon scoffed and puffed away to the sheds, leaving Henry and James behind at the station. The next morning, it was no better. The line had been blocked with snow, and Gordon was waiting for Stanley to arrive and give the all-clear. Despicable, he grumbled. An express engine stuck at a station because of a bit of snow. It's absolutely ridiculous. Gordon's driver was getting quite annoyed. Hello, Gordon, whistled Stanley. Snow's clear. Duck's further up the line, but everything's all well and good. You're free to go. At last, and Gordon angrily puffed away. Next morning, Gordon had trouble building up steam. Hurry up! Hurry up! You still have a while before your next train, puffed Thomas. What's with you? None of your concerns, snapped Gordon. A little engine like you wouldn't understand. Later, Gordon was waiting at the platform for his coaches. The wind was howling, and he was beginning to feel very cold. Hurry up, you sad excuse for a shunter, he shouted as Diesel shunted his coaches into place. Gordon's outburst had made Diesel very cross. I'm doing my best, he replied. I had trouble with my engine this morning because of the cold. Ha! grunted Gordon. That's not an excuse. The Northwestern has a reputation to uphold. Diesel was furious. I wasn't even late. You're the one so eager to leave. Before either of them could say anything else, Thomas puffed up. Don't worry, Diesel, he said. Gordon's just ready to get going so he can stay warm. Nonsense! I'm simply trying to keep to the timetable. More like keep warm. Just admit it, Gordon, you're freezing! <laughs> Before Gordon could retort, the guard blew his whistle, and he fumed away. The others had been right about Gordon. He was trying his best to hide it, but the winter weather had begun to take a toll on him. Gordon soon arrived at the station. The snow was getting deeper and deeper, and the temperature continued to drop. Gordon couldn't stand it. Then, Henry arrived. He was red in the face and very tired. The snow is terrible further up the line, and since you don't have a snowplow, I'd recommend waiting for a back engine. Nonsense, Henry, replied Gordon. It shouldn't be too much trouble for a fast and strong engine such as myself. I'll be fine. Suit yourself, puffed Henry, and he steamed away. Gordon knew that it would be difficult but he didn't want the other engines laughing at him again. Everything will be just fine, he said to himself, and he puffed away. Gordon was trying his best to get through the heavy drifts, but the passengers were growing concerned. Gordon fought hard, but it was too much. He ground to a halt in the middle of the line. Oh dear, he said sadly. What do I do now? Night came and Gordon was freezing. His driver and fireman had taken shelter in the coaches. Just then, he could hear a whistle. James? And indeed, it was. Hello, Gordon. We've come to rescue you, and I brought your snowplow. Oh, thank you, James. I didn't fancy being stuck out here all night. Gordon's driver and fireman attached Gordon's plow, and James was coupled to the back of the train. Ready! Ready! And the two friends triumphantly puffed away. 
Steam billowed from their funnels, and the passengers cheered as they trundled on through the snow. At last, the two friends pulled into the big station at the end of the line. The passengers got out and congratulated Gordon and James for their effort. Later that night, James and Gordon finally made it back to Tidmouth. The others were very pleased to see them. Gordon spoke to them. I never should have acted the way I did, he said. I'm sorry for being so pompous. And we're sorry for teasing you, added Thomas. The cold can be difficult for anyone. Even a big engine like you, chuckled James. Everyone laughed, even Gordon. A few days later, Christmas Eve came, and the island was merry and bright. There was a party at Knapford Station, and everyone was as happy as could be. Especially Gordon. 